everybody. Brenda's with me, but she had to run inside for a bit. I see we have a lot of turkeys here. There's quite a line all the way back through the woods waiting. So we're going to put out some extra food today. Hope everybody's uh, doing well. And uh, you might want to grab a cup of coffee and sit back because I've got a lot to share with you today, both of us here. Let's see if we can fix his hat here. Birds are uh, extra active today. Okay. So I'm going to do a little shoveling. I don't know if you can, now you probably can't quite see this one, but there's one turkey that just doesn't want to leave. Hold on, I'm going to get you some food. in right now even before I get the food out. You guys are going to have to hang out a bit here. But I guarantee it'll be worth it. We're going to put out extra food today because for those of you that have been watching, we've been getting a lot of wildlife coming in. Boy, yesterday I, I have more deer here than I've ever seen. They're, they're coming back right now. Oh, the turkey. Yeah, yeah, they're not going to wait. Hi, everybody. Yes, I'm off work today. Ken and I have a dentist appointment. to do this without you guys seeing what I'm doing because it's going to be a surprise. that will happen after St. Patty's Day. I'm just trying to hide it because you want it to be a surprise. Well, so that's why I stood in front. I 
been sawing and sanding. Trying to get the next costume ready. Yeah, you can tell this time of the year they get so hungry that uh, hunger wins out over fear. They're still afraid, which we want them to be, but they're starving. Did you want to try to get a picture before I brush all the snow off? No, that's all right. I'm going to let them come in just for a second and get something to eat. Okay. I know they were pretty cold when I was out here the other day. There's all kinds of them coming in from the woods now. But don't worry, there's going to be plenty for everybody. So, yeah, so it's good, and the snowman needs to be filled up.
coming in from the woods. I can give you these and then you can just hand them to me. All right, I'm feeling we're going to have uh, guests eating uh, with us here. While he's digging in his pocket, I just want to say hi, Delia, and to the grandkids. Um, we don't get your messages all the time on Earth Camp because there's so many um, people on there that we don't get to all of those. So if you want to send us a message, send it to snowmancam.com. Or a snowman no. cam page? <laughs> snowman at snowmancam.com is our email address. And like Brenda says, it, it's getting to the point now, and I feel really bad because you guys take the time to, to write to us, and I want to make sure that I get back to every single person. And unfortunately now in the uh, – uh, I'm spending so much time just answering emails. In fact, yesterday I spent eight hours after I left here solid. I had dinner at my desk. Uh, just answering emails because it's so important to us that uh, you're kind enough to take the time to write us that I want to get back with you. So I think I got caught up yesterday on that, but uh, I we're just running out of time really to answer all the comments uh, you know that are made uh, in the EarthCam site and then uh, also uh, messages sent to us on Facebook. I, I try to get back to those uh, that I can. I think I get to most of them, but if you really want to get a hold of us, the best way uh, I make it a priority uh, to answer the emails and also go to the P.O. box and answer letters, which I'll give you that address. I went today and there were 10 of them in there, so I want to acknowledge those. I wish you guys could see how close these turkeys are. They're like right here. Yeah. It's well, like so cool. I think they can see this group, but they can't see uh, any yeah. of the more afraid ones. And they are there. wild turkeys. They're not our pets. They're <coughs> just hungry. And also I want to um, say hi to Dave Edwards in the U.K., he said he's got three real dedicated viewers that view at home and work, and it's Rachel, Lizzie, and Craig. Hi, and then a very special Mother's Day to everybody. Um, I guess that was yesterday that we missed. Um, it wasn't our Mother's Day in the U.S., but it is over there. Yeah, that was in the U.K., right? I believe Mother's so, yes. Day. And yep. I know sometimes I think Australia also uh, has the same uh, holidays there, too. So happy Mother's Day to everybody out there around the world that uh, celebrated it yesterday. The right. most important profession in the world, being a mom. Absolutely. Yeah, there is no more important job. I know I'll hear somebody, I'll ask them what they do, and they say, well, I'm just a stay-at-home mom. And I always say, you're not just a stay-at-home mom. You have the most important job in the world, and thank you for doing it. All right, I got some thank yous. I'll get started because I wrote some down this morning, and then when we stopped to the uh, post office box, uh, there was a lot more. In fact, uh, Brenda and I wound up. After this, we've got a, we both have doctor's appointments this afternoon, but uh, we did run it around this morning, and one of the stops I had to make, I was kind of bummed last Friday when I went to the feed store and got all kinds of feed. They have a cat there, which is very, very friendly. We're buddies. And uh, I had my scarf on, which I usually wear, but I have it usually tucked in my coat, and it was a birthday present from Brenda, which I really, really like that scarf. And uh, But the cat, as I was reaching over trying to grab bags of food, it kept grabbing it and pulling it. No sudden movement. Got one right behind us. So anyway, so I took it off and I set it on the feed bag, and I continued loading up all the bags of feed, and for some reason I walked off and left it. So I had to stop there today. They said they hadn't seen it, but they're going to keep their eye out for it. So if there's anybody here in Gaylord that goes to uh, Ellsworth Farmers Exchange, uh, it's a really nice scarf, and you know, like I said, it was a gift from Brenda, so it meant something to me. And uh, it, the, the brand on it is what, APT9, 
I think it says. So so if you happen to have picked it up or saw it or whatever, I'd appreciate it getting back. But we did stop the Coles today. Keep your hand in your pocket. And I, and I, bought, and I bought another one. But the, the good news of it, when Brenda bought it, it was for my birthday in December. And, of course, scarves are at a premium then. So it was $30. So the same scarf was, uh, well, very similar scarf, uh, same brand. Uh, was marked down to nine dollars, so I got one for nine dollars today. So I don't feel terrible, but like I said, the, the gift that she gave me meant something to me. So I'd like to get that back if I could. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, start with the thank yous here. I'd like to thank uh, Lawrence and Barbara DeVizio uh, from Dearborn, is where they live most of the time. But they said they've got uh, a cabin here in Gaylord, so they made a donation to help feed the wildlife. So uh, Lawrence and Barbara, thank you for that. I'd also like to thank uh, Robert uh, Brinky. And uh, Robert is from Richmond, Michigan, and he says he's got a cabin in Houghton Lake, which is about 45 minutes south of us here. So, Robert, uh, thank you. In fact, actually, Robert has signed up to help us out on a monthly basis, so we certainly appreciate that. Uh, speaking of monthly basis, uh, we received, uh, uh, and, and these folks actually signed up uh, several months ago, and they are continuing to help us out, and that's uh, Jan and Petra Van Dendries from Tilburg, Netherlands. So thank you very much. We received your payment today, and we appreciate that. Uh, is there, as you can see, we've got to do some major stocking up of food again. Uh, also, want to uh, thank John Baxter for a couple of reasons. Once, he's, he's donated now multiple times to help us buy food, but John is the one that actually uh, grabs uh, the video from when we're here feeding, and he edits it down to just that time period, and then he uh, uploads it to YouTube. And then we're able to grab that and put that on our page. So, John, thank you. Almost every single day he takes the time to do that. And uh, speaking of YouTube, our page is all up to date with the videos. So uh, if you haven't looked at it, uh, you might want to check that out. I'll talk more about that later. Uh, also, too, want to say uh, thank you to uh, Julio and Shirley Porto down in uh, Cape Coral, Florida. They were kind enough, even though they are a monthly... Uh, contributor, and they have been for a while. Uh, they donated a little extra for Danny to pay for his gas, so I actually have already paid Danny. In fact, at first he wasn't going to take it, uh, but this was Julio's idea, and I said, no, this is somebody that really wants you to have this. So Danny says, no, put it towards the food, and I said, no, put it towards gas. And then I, then I told him that Brenda and I are going to be going to a conference at the end of the month, not quite as long, only for three days, so I'm going to need his services again. So I said, please take the money, buy yourself some gas for running back and forth. To which Danny said, oh, you need me to help you again later this month? And I said, yeah, if you're available. He said, well, I'm available, but I don't have to say hi again, do I? And I said, I will leave that up to you, Danny. But I says, I guarantee you, you've got a fan club out there around the world, and they will be disappointed if you don't say hi when you're here. So uh, thanks to Danny again. Uh, Let's see, I've got, I might as well go through the rest of my list, and then I'll start going through the letters. So I hope you guys have got your cup of coffee or tea or whatever it is that you drink here in the afternoon, because I've got, I think, ten letters to go through that came in today. Uh, one thing that I, I thought about today, and I can't believe that all these months that I've, I haven't mentioned it, but uh, Snowman, you, you know about the Facebook pages, you know about our YouTube page, but I never mentioned our Twitter page. So believe it or not, Snowman does have his own Twitter page. So if you guys do Twitter, it's just another way to stay in touch with what's going on. You'll see some things posted there that you might not see someplace else. And uh, if you do Twitter, just look up Snowman Cam. And it's all run together. It's not separated as Snowman-Cam. It's Snowman Cam all run together. So do a search. Feel free to follow us, and uh, we will follow, follow you back. Also wanted to mention some of you that are on our Facebook page you saw I, uh, posted yesterday that we just got uh, the new t-shirts in with the 8-inch round logo. Those turned out very cool. Uh, they're only available in navy blue, but uh, we've got sizes from medium all the way up to uh, 3X. So for those of you I know have been asking for the larger sizes, we didn't carry them before. Uh, we do have them in that. So uh, if you're interested, you might want to go ahead and grab those. Uh, talked with Richard this morning and everybody who has ordered recently uh, from the store Everything has been shipped today, so everything is on its way, including something that was going uh, to France, and they told me that'd take about a week to get there. Uh, I got a note here about the lights. I'm still kind of playing with the lights because I'm trying to get it where uh, 
it can, you guys can see the wildlife in the background at night, but yet I want to make sure everything is nice and clear in front. So I appreciate uh, all the comments. Uh, a lot of you said you, you liked it the old way, you liked it the new way, you liked it in between, you liked it with one light, but uh, I'll, I'll keep adjusting that. And once we get it uh, exactly the way we want it, then I'll put up something more permanent. Because right now, uh, it's kind of a temporary setup because I wasn't sure how the lighting was going to work out. Um, speaking of Facebook, if you do Facebook and you haven't joined our Facebook page, uh, feel free to do that. We've got two of them. Just do a search for Snowman Camp. And uh, our page will come up, and so will our fans group. And you'll see a lot of very cool things uh, on our Facebook page, especially in the fans group. And just ask to join, and uh, I'll go ahead and accept you and get you in there. But you'll see a lot of very cool postings, in including daily postings from uh, Judy Utley. Judy is, uh, is our resident cartoonist for the site, so I think pretty much every single day she makes up a cartoon of kind of what's happened that day. And uh, they're very, very cute thinking someday maybe Judy will be publishing a uh, snowman cam uh, comic book but uh, she's a great talent there and Judy we, we appreciate that and we have fun seeing those every day um, talking about YouTube we're, we're up to 352 subscribers so if you guys do YouTube uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel or like I said we're at 352 my goal was to try to get to 500 before the end of the month uh, we've got a lot of neat things planned uh, for that page. We already have a lot of stuff. You'll, if you go in there now, you'll see a lot of history. Uh, you'll see some behind the scenes. Uh, you'll see different news uh, stories that have been run. So a lot of cool things there. So uh, if, if you do YouTube, just go to our page, snowmancam.com, our regular website. Right at the top of the page is a link that says uh, our YouTube videos. Click on that. It takes you directly to our page. And then uh, instead of trying to search for us in YouTube, sometimes it makes it kind of hard to find because it'll just bring up different videos. But if you, if you follow the link from snowmancam.com, it'll take you right into our page. Hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. And uh, you'll have uh, free access to a lot of uh, videos. Like yesterday we had, I don't know, probably 25, 30 deer out here. And uh, Brenda noticed that. I was busy answering emails, but she said, you know, you might want to do a, a YouTube Live, so I did. I, I uh, turned down YouTube, so those people that have su subscribed to the channel got a notice, and they were able to see all the deer out here. Um, and back to Facebook for a second. Like I talked about uh, Judy and her cartoon things. People actually post a lot of cool things. Somebody posted a picture last night of the porcupine on top of the mineral block uh, playing King of the Hill. So that, that picture alone is, is worth checking it out. In the Photoshop where that looks like you're feeding a deer, that's Photoshopped. It wasn't real folks. I didn't see that. Oh, yeah. There's a deer and it looks like you're feeding it. Oh, and yeah. And it looks real. Someone's like, wow, that's cool. And, yeah. Oh, you will never... You will, I'm going to go check inside for a second. Okay, you will never see that. You'll never see me feeding the deer or turkeys by hand. So, yeah, so if somebody does, if you see a picture like that, uh, it's obviously been faked. So probably the only thing that we've ever fed out here is we've had uh, chickadees land in our hand and take seed because they're so friendly. And then the other thing, too, is uh, the chipmunks are extremely friendly here, too. So I have sat down on the ground with sunflower seeds in my hand, and chipmunks have jumped up in my hand. But, yeah, that that's a little different. I, I never want to feed uh, deer by hand or turkeys by hand, and certainly not black bear by hand. So I was hoping Brenda would be able to hang on to these because I've got a lot of them. So let me see if I can do this without dropping them. All right, I'm going to start with uh, the first one here. This one's anonymous. They did not want me to say who they are. But they made a donation, and uh, they're from Lewisburg, North Carolina. I hope it's okay to say that. I'm sure there's a lot of people down there, so they won't know who you are. But they sent a letter along, and it says, Ken, please accept this small donation anonymously, uh, but rather in the name of Danny who so kindly, faithfully, and graciously fed the Snowman Cam wildlife and took care of Woody and friends as best he could while you and Brenda were away. Your non-pet pets knew you were gone. They showed up by, they, they showed it by acting up. I guess they were, wildlife were misbehaving. They, they like most animals, they like routine, and uh, yeah, when you break it up, they don't like it. 
you know when the boss is away, LOL. Uh, it says, anyway, please let Danny know he, uh, he has my gratitude, appreciation, and a big thank you. And it's signed anonymously. And then they did a little smiley face there. So, thank you very much for that. And uh, yes, I've, I've let Danny know several times about his band club, which he's uh, kind of embarrassed about, but that happens. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens when he comes later this month, if I can continue to get him to say hi or not. I'm thinking we probably can, especially if we built him into it. Okay, the next one here, we got a card uh, from Kathy Espinoza in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Very cool card. Uh, it's got some nice little uh, stickers on it, little paw prints, a little chick and a, and a dog. And it says inside, Dear Ken and Brenda, uh, thankful you had a great trip to D.C. and that you were home safe. Danny was our hero while you were away. See, more fans of Danny. Even the friends he brought along a couple times were gracious and fun. And, yeah, one of the times, uh, the guy on crutches is Todd. Todd is another one. It absolutely does not like to be on camera, so I'm surprised. Usually in the past, he's come out here at night when I see we're out of food, and uh, he's made sure that he stays close to the camera so nobody can see who he is. Uh, let's see. Um, he did a fantastic job, and we, we at the chat all know how much of a big deal it was. Uh, here's a small donation that I've pledged in case he waved and said hello, but please know that I would have donated anyways. And then it says, don't tell Danny. That's right. We don't want to tell Danny that. We, we like him to feel guilty. And then it says, uh, glad you're home, warmest wishes, and warm hugs to you and Brenda. God bless you all, always, Kathy. And Kathy is ABC in the chat room. I hope it's okay to say that, Kathy. And uh, it says she lives in Grand Rapids. All right, thank you for coming out and hanging out of those. Okay, our next one uh, here is from Dan and Sharon Looney, and they're in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Probably one of the few places that gets uh, uh, more brutal weather than we do here. And they've got a, a little note inside here. It says, uh, thanks for all the great work you all do. So fun watching your site, Dan Looney. And then he drew a little picture of the snowman on it. So... Thank you very much, uh, Dan and Sharon. We certainly appreciate your support. All right, next we've got one. Um, okay, from uh, Nancy Wysocki. And Nancy, I am so glad that you sent this to me and that it looks like we have a return address because actually I've been trying to send you something and uh, it's been coming back as no such address. So I'm not going to say what the address is here, but now I have this, so I'm going to see if this is different than what I tried. And uh, this says, please accept my check, keep up the good work, send hat and mittens. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to send you some hat and mittens that you had ordered, but uh, unfortunately uh, it came back as wrong address. I went on, apparently you don't do Facebook, because I couldn't find you on Facebook. I did a search for you on Google, and there were a few names, and I sent letters out to three names. One said uh, no one at this address. The other two I never heard anything back from, and, and I asked whoever got it if they knew you to please pass it on, but apparently they didn't know you. So I've got your return address, so we're, we're going to go ahead and try that again. All right, our next one is from Donna uh, Wigham. Is it Wigham? Probably Wigham, W-H-I-G-H-A-M. And uh, she is in West Columbia, South Carolina. And uh, a very professional business-looking letter, by the way. It says, Dear Ken, please uh, find my check uh, to help feed the wildlife. I would ask that a portion of this money be used to purchase corn in the cob for the porcupines. Let's face it, is there anything cuter than watching those great guys eat corn on the cob? And, and Donna, I agree. The last time I went to the feed store, I asked them, you know, if they were going to be getting any more corn in. And they said that's something that uh, they usually don't have until fall. They don't carry that year round. But they were going to make some phone calls for me because I agree with you. There is nothing cuter than to see a porcupine pick it up and hold it and eat it. Uh, there are some great pictures of that out there. So I definitely want to get some more, and we'll, we will as soon as we can uh, find out. If there's anybody in the Gaylord area or even a few hours away, 
you know somebody that has the bag corn on the cob, uh, I would love to come and pick it up. So as I also wanted to thank Brenda and you for all you do for the animals. Snowman Cam has provided me with untold hours of enjoyment watching the animals watching the animals. I especially enjoy the changing of the outfits and watching the animals' reaction to them. You both are very special people that take the time out of your busy lives to provide the wildlife with food and provide us Snowman Camp peeps the opportunity to enjoy the wildlife and be part of the wonderful Snowman Camp family. God bless you both. Yours truly, Donna. So Donna, thank you very much. We appreciate that and certainly appreciate your contribution. And I guarantee you, as soon as we can Get corn on the cob, it'll be back out here. Okay, our next one is from uh, Michael and Mary Shell, and they are in uh, Baraboo, Wisconsin. Okay, kind of neighbors right across the lake there. And they sent something very cool, and, and on their return address, they've got a little chipmunk eating. And it says, Ken, we enjoyed watching the wildlife on website. Uh, here's a donation to help feed the animals. So Michael and Mary Shell, thank you very much. And all these names that I'm reading, uh, obviously these are all new. I just picked pick these up today. Uh, so I'll be adding all the names to the website. So you should see your name on there uh, probably sometime tonight when we get home. I will try to get those on. And if you go to the page, there's actually three different spots you can look, depending on how you donate it. Uh, go to the main page and refresh it to make sure you've got the, the most up-to-date page. And as people donate, I put their name and where they're from, just underneath the chat room, you'll see an area with names listed. This, those names stay there for about a week or so. But at the same time, if you've made a one-time donation, it goes on the page where it says Feed the Wildlife. There's a link at the top uh, of the snowmancamp.com uh, page. Click on Feed the Wildlife. It shows everybody that's made a one-time donation there. And uh, if you're somebody uh, that is helping us out on a monthly basis, also at the top of the page, uh, right in the middle there, it says See... Uh, monthly contributors, and there's there's a whole list. Oh yeah, we'll we'll put some more out. So anyways, that's a place to check uh, to see. I'd like to make sure that everybody gets acknowledged. So if, uh, if if you've made a donation and you don't see your name there, please contact me and let me know. Because uh, in some cases, uh, people have made a contribution and I've sent them an email asking them where they're from because I like to put where they're watching and I like to also make sure it's okay. To put their name there so if I don't hear back from them I hold those aside so if you don't see it and it's okay please uh, just send me an email at snowman at snowmancam.com okay here's another anonymous one and this is from Hickory North Carolina and this is somebody that has donated before and they want part of the money to be used as the pledge for Danny showing up every day and the other part of the money is to go to donation for feed or whatever needed. And then they've got birthday boost in parentheses there. So I'm not sure if it's this person's birthday that they're donating for or or whose it is. But thank you very much there, Anonymous, in Hickory, North Carolina. All right. Last but not least here, we've got a letter here from Gail Schultz. And she's from Catawissa. Catawissa, Pennsylvania, I believe that's pronounced. And this one says, uh, Dear Ken and Brenda, I didn't officially make a pledge, but please accept my donation to Feed the Wildlife. It was a fun week to watch Danny come and say hi and put food out. This is, this is a photo of the day the deer seemed to come from everywhere. Uh, Woody looks pleased at the gathering. Love the snowman, Cam. Gail Schultz in Catawissa, Pennsylvania. And then this was the, you haven't seen this yet. Mm -hmm. This was the picture that she sent along, and it's just one with all kinds of deer in the front. So thank you very much, Gail. I appreciate you taking the time to do that. And I think I've come, whoops, I think I've come to the end of the list here. So thank you. Thank you to everybody who took the time to write and send these to our, our P.O. boxes. Uh, as you can see, those you know definitely get the priority attention uh, along with the emails I get. Although when we came back from Washington, D.C., I had over 1,000 emails that I had to go through. So that's why I spent eight hours going through. So hopefully everybody who has sent me an email uh, received an answer. I, uh, I really try to make sure that I do that. 
because I, I appreciate you guys taking the time. So thank you. Um, let's see. I went through everything on the list. We've got food out. I think the turkeys have finally given up on me. Yeah, they're just sitting back in a yeah, puddle. Yeah, I, I didn't realize I was going to be a little extra long-winded today. So was, was there anything that we forgot to cover? How's our I time doing? I don't think so. Okay, 1.37. Yeah, so we're here over a half hour. We allowed ourselves a half hour to come here and do this so we can get to our doctor's appointment. We have so. to run across the road, too. Oh, So, that's see you right. later, guys. Yeah, what do we need over there? Sandpaper. Oh, sandpaper. That's right. Brenda is working on the next masterpiece for the next change of clothes. So, she's actually making, I think it's going to be kind of a permanent outfit. I mean, permanent for that holiday, for Easter. Right. I want something that'll last. So, she's, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's like uh, Geppetto in the workshop at home. I hear her down there uh, banging and sawing, and uh, now yep. she's... I had to draw it out, make a pattern, draw it on wood, saw it out, sand it, paint it. So now she wants to sand and paint it, so we need to also look for paint. So, okay, well, we're going to take off. Right. Are you cold? I'm freezing, and my hair's probably going to look wonderful. Oh, okay, and also we don't have the thing for the garage door to get in, so I'll have to go around back. Or we can buy Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, uh, all right, again, thank you to everybody. Thank you to all the folks at EarthCam. Thank you to all you guys who post in EarthCam uh, in, uh, in the Hall of Fame. We appreciate that. That's probably the greatest way to introduce people to the site. Uh, and uh, our Facebook page, if you haven't done that, join it. A lot of cool stuff there. You'll also see in Facebook and our YouTube page, that uh, yesterday morning, so yes, yeah, yesterday morning, uh, the news down in Chattanooga, Tennessee, their TV news, Channel 9, uh, did a little quick uh, kind of cut to the snowman cam, too, and uh, that was kind of cool. So we've added that video. So check out our YouTube page. Check out our, our Facebook page. You'll, you'll get a chance to see that. So And welcome. Welcome to all the new people that uh, joined our Facebook page here just recently. And uh, when you do, please uh, please introduce yourself to the room. Because I get the pleasure of seeing who you are and where you're from, but until you make that first post, nobody else in the room uh, can see that. I saw that there's a way that I can do that when you join the site. I can put out something, but I, I didn't think everybody would appreciate it because I know some people like to watch anonymously. So I won't do that. I'll leave it up to you guys to introduce yourself. But, uh, yeah, please give the rest of the folks uh, the pleasure of welcoming you to the group. I think you'll find uh, there's a lot of very kind and helpful people. Uh, one thing I, I wanted to mention, too, you know, we have a lot of people that, that watch the cam that uh, are having health issues, and some of them are pretty significant. And I get those emails uh, from people. And uh, it, it really tugs on my heart to read some of the stuff. But uh, at the same time, it's also, I, I'm glad to see that, that we're helping in some way, bringing them a little bit of peace. But uh, we've got someone just anonymously that if, if you do pray out there, if you're a prayer warrior, uh, can certainly use your help. We've got uh, just a uh, very important person in the Snowman Camp family uh, that's undergoing some pretty serious health issues. They, they don't want me to mention anything uh, of who they are, uh, but it, it's, it's pretty significant. And uh, so if you could, uh, you know, if you do pray, we would definitely would appreciate that. Uh, and again, I won't mention their name or where they're at or anything like that, but they're a very important member of the Snowman Camp family, and uh, prayers would uh, definitely be appreciated. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and take off. Uh, I hope that wherever you're watching at in the world, first of all, that uh, you adapted to daylight savings time if you had to change. I know we had to get up earlier. But uh, I hope you're doing well, that you're healthy, that you're warm, that you're comfortable, that you're well-fed. And uh, with your help, uh, we will be here every day, especially now, uh, putting out extra food to make sure the wildlife here uh, makes it through the rest of the winter. So I'm going to take off so the turkey and whoever else is starving can come back in here. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.